Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Tech and today in this video I'm gonna show you that how you can flash Zen UI 3.0 which is based on Android Marshmallow 6.0 in your Lenovo K3 Note. So without wasting any more time, let's get started and let me show you how to flash it. I have already made a video of the overview of Zen UI 3.0 on your Lenovo K3 Note. Kindly check that video if you want to know more about that Chrome. Now first of all you have to download some files and you have to put it into your SD card and the files are Zen UI ZIF which is about 782 MB another one is Zen UI LED dot zip it will fix the LED light another one is G apps for Marshmallow 6.0 and another one is multi language power key patch so download link is in the below description kindly check it and go to that website and download all the files so now let's power off the device and let me go to the dwrp recovery now press volume up volume down and the power key at the same time So guys as you can see this is the TWRP recovery. So now you have to go to the wipe section first and then format data and just format the data it's actually the factory reset. Let's go back and let's go back and go to that advanced wipe section and here you have to select Dalvi cache, cache and data and swipe to wipe all those things. So the wiping is successful now let's go back go back go back and go to the install section and here you have to select the external SD card and here is the external SD card as you can see and here are the files as you can see the ROM file is zenui.zip so first you have to flash that one the zenui.zip so let me tap on that and swipe to install it. So it has started flashing the room so it may take a couple of minutes so I'm gonna skip this video to save your valuable time. So finally flashing is successful as you can see forget about the errors it is successful. Now let's go back and let's now flash the multi-language power key dot zip file. Now flash Zen UI LED. And now finally flash the G apps or Google apps files. And finally the G apps are successfully flashed and now click on that wipe caches option and swipe to wipe the cache. And click on that reboot system now. So the K3 node boots up and for the first time it may take over 10 minutes to have the first boot. So I'm gonna skip this video. So as you can see ZenUI boots up which is a pretty nice thing and it's working gorgeous actually. So now let's do the first setup of this ZenUI. I have been using this ROM now for 4 days and I haven't seen any kind of major bugs. The bugs that I have seen is just the messaging app is crashing and the settings is crashing sometimes. When you restart your phone, at the first time the messaging app crashes and everything is working pretty fine. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, camera, front camera, sensors, FM radio compass everything is working pretty fine so that's really it for this video thank you guys for watching this video and i hope i will catch you in the next one